RTR 4010PE is a new, improved, rapid tooling resin, which incorporates better handling properties, lower viscosity, improved shrinkage control, and is catalyzed with standard MEKP catalyst. RTR 4010PE is a thixotropic, filled, low-profile resin for hand lay mold making applications. RTR 4010PE helps to achieve faster mold making and eliminate surface distortion, forming part of Scott Barter's new mold making system, which also comprises GC15PE and VE679PE skin coat. Here we are applying the 15PE gel coat to the mold. 2% Catalyst M has been added to the 15PE gel coat and mixed thoroughly before application. Before applying fiberglass laminate, the previous layer of gel coat must be cured sufficiently. When cured, the surface will have a slight tap, but you should be able to drag your fingers across the surface without any colour or residue ending up on your fingers. Also check deep areas or corners of the mould, as these areas can take longer to cure. After the gel coat application, you will need to apply your skin coat, or sometimes referred to as a binding layer. This involves applying a lightweight chopped strand mat such as 300 grams with vinyl ester resin VE679PE. Once applied and thoroughly paddle rolled to remove any air, leave this to cure, then sand and wipe down with acetone. Now we're ready to start our main laminate 4010PE. RTR 4010PE must be allowed to attain a minimum workshop temperature of 18 degrees before use. Although 20 degrees to 24 degrees is recommended. This should be mixed thoroughly prior to use and requires only the addition of MEKP catalyst to start the curing reaction. The recommended catalyst is Catalyst M or Butanox M50, which should be added at 1% into the resin and thoroughly dispersed. Each layer is applied and consolidated with a paddle roller to expel any trapped air. The recommended resin to glass ratio for chopped strand mat glass reinforcement is at least 2.5 to 1 by weight. The design, complexity and size of the mould will determine optimum reinforcement levels and thickness. At least three layers of 450 GSM chopped strand glass mat or equivalent is required and should be applied in a single operation to achieve sufficient cure and low shrink performance. The material will undergo colour change as the curing reaction takes place. Satisfactory laminates for many applications can be made from RTR 4010PE by curing at workshop temperature. However, for optimum properties and long term performance, moulds made with 4010PE should be post cured before being put into service. The laminate should be allowed to cure for 24 hours at 20 degrees centigrade and then oven cured for 16 hours at 40 degrees. Adding core materials such as nidoplast or foam afterwards is an option for added protection against impact. If the mould is to be stored outside, you can also finish with a flow coat to seal the laminate. The advice and information given here is for guidance only and is given without warranty. Users should determine information given and use their own judgement to determine suitability. As with all projects of this nature, suitable protective clothing should always be worn. Also, please read the safety and technical data sheets.